Hello, and welcome back to my Detroit Become Human second finale, I guess? Um, so yeah, <laughs> since we let our android go from the menu, obviously we've got no wonderful or foreboding greeting to find us here right now. We can continue now, though. What's going to happen if we do that? Let's try that real quick. I guess it'll probably just put us back at the start of the revolution chapter, maybe? But yeah, I don't want to do that. Obviously, you know, we're here today to do the uh, do the demonstration ending instead. So let's just um, have a quick look in here, see if there's like maybe an epilogue or something. And if not, we can just quit back out and go back to the big crucial choice with Marcus and go the other way. So, uh, yeah, I, I assume this probably is going to just leave us at the revolution, right? We'll tell in a sec when it finishes getting in there. Oh, I think this is just the ending. Let's have a look, the flowchart. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the, the, the very ending right here. Let's just... You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. Okay, no, we, we have seen this before. Okay, well, forget about that. Let's go back to the main menu and um, restart before the choice. I do wonder though, like if I were to totally restart the game, would the android still be gone from our menu? Like maybe reload earlier on. Well anyway, let's let's go ahead and go into chapters then. And go to go to the one where Marcus made the choice. Right near the end. Crossroads, Knight of the Soul, that's the one. And that's the battle for Detroit. So let's go for Knight of the Soul then. So checkpoint, we don't want to do the whole being at home thing if we can avoid it, I guess. Because we already did that. No? Whoops. Okay, we can't do any of that. I, I guess we do just got to start here then. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Unless now that we're zoomed in, it'll let us choose over here. At all? No? No. So yeah, let's just go upstairs and talk to Leo real quick then. Not Leo, sorry. Um, I'm going to say save. Because that way it will carry on through to the next chapter and we can do the actual revolution. Sorry, the demonstration ending. Okay, so we're back at the house. Once again, we can just blast through to all the same shit we did before. Because I think the way we handled it last time was just fine. I'm not going to bother like looking around the house though because we didn't gain anything from that. Let's just go straight upstairs. Oh no, we should just proc the message from his son just in case that did change anything. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. I love that little smile of relief as he realizes that Carl's not abandoned him. But yeah, so let's just proc this message real quick. Yeah, you can play. And then we can just go upstairs and ignore it, I guess. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I, uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, everything that happened. Then we just need to go to this dude, convert him, and then just go talk to Papa Carl. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. <laughs> the subtitle's still coming up from that message. It's fine though, it's over now. Alright, let's convert him. Get inside. Finish this business. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Oh, 
What's up, Dad? How's it going? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop ruining the mood now. <sighs> Maybe Marcus. I will answer a little bit differently. Because I don't think this is going to have any real bearing over what happened. Thank you so much, girl. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? What's wrong? Um, resigned. I just wanted my people to be free, but... Instead, I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for it to end. Okay, so decision. I don't want bloodshed, no matter the color. But I can't let them slaughter my people. I have to make a decision that's going to affect millions of lives. And I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. Now give us some son, advice. Marcus. Is he just going to say the same Blood stuff? Isn't the same color. Well, fair enough. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Okay, so that's that's everything this time then. I guess we didn't press him for advice this time because of the way we said things, but it, it doesn't matter. That's that's not the important part of this process. This is the important part. So again, let's quickly go over touch base with everybody, answer in the same ways that we get the same outcomes, and then make our choice to be peaceful. It's actually dark outside here, I've not got any screen glare, so it should be easier to find them and track them down than it was last time. Yeah, once again, holding that trigger. I wonder if that would have actually came into play if we made our choices a bit differently. But if we would be able to trigger the dirty bomb. I guess that would be the worst ending though. <laughs> Killing just millions of innocent people. Alright, so let's just sweep the room then, talk to everybody. How's it going, bro? Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. I sure am. And I think you're going to be more happy with the the choice I'm about to make as well. Everyone apart from North. We'll follow you. I do wonder what North's reaction is going to be though, because there's probably going to be one when we get there, right? Because North was with us until the end. She was the only one of us main characters in Jericho that survived alongside Marcus. Where are you? Here you are. Um, What's your weird? system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, we know, but you're alive now and you love me, so that's you all that matters, to right? think of our people first. I said that's all that Nothing matters, matters, right? Camps. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for genocide. Yeah, they are. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. 
If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. I mean, she's right about that. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Right, so now we need to talk to Josh. Trust in Connor, and then make our final decision once again. Our final, final decision, if you will. It didn't say love at that time, it just said up. <laughs> oh well. She still said she loved us, so I guess it's the same situation, but that was weird. Then again, the game did get patched since last time, so maybe that was like a small change. Who knows? If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Yeah, everyone is. Thanks, Josh. I really appreciate that. Now let's get Connor. Send him on his final mission as well. I guess we can see how it turns out if we don't ha sacrifice Hank this time. Maybe the whole thing will be a bit different now that we're going for the demonstration ending. Let's find it's out. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I said I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. So yeah, let's trust him again. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Now let's find out all about this cyber, cyber life tower. Cyber yeah, there it is. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the cyber life tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. Yeah, they didn't trust you that much though. They trust you enough to get you in there, but not without massive armed escorts. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Yeah, I think I am gonna save Hank this time. Assuming that happens again. Just to see how it plays out differently. Since we are going for a different ending anyway, so I don't want to do everything the same way, right? So yeah, from this point. From this point, everything is new, so let's go and tell them how we're going to demonstrate. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. So let's demonstrate. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them Watch North peacefully that we want justice. Yeah. Of if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Okay, so they're all equally as on board with that decision, just like they said they would be. It's just obviously, uh, obviously North not so much. But we can see how many people made this decision now, because we will be able to see both. And I'm guessing this is easily going to be the more popular answer, right? Let's have a look. Marcus chose to protest for his people. Whoop, let's zoom out. So yeah, yeah. So this is way like far and away the most important.
the most shows option, and then obviously everything else before this is the same. So, yeah, this is where we're at. Well, let's do it then. Let's face this ending. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary that camps are being weird. set up in all our major cities to contain I'm guessing the actress that played her is Irish. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities. And she just rest sounds assured very Irish. That everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please, Madam President. Right, let's let's roast her this time. So recall centers. Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Please. All right, let's carry on seeing if there's any good options to roast us. Jericho, Please. Jericho assault. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Jesus. Please. We want to find like another option to roast again. Intelligent life. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. please. Wow, just completely ignoring that one then. I wanna we just need to carry please. on fucking roasting her. Okay, please. well I guess let's just try and talk about cyber life then. What's gonna happen to cyber life? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with cyber life to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please. Oh, she's Please. given us a lot more. She's given us a lot more Please. to talk about this time to deviants. Is it true that a large number of deviants? We only got like three answers last time. We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Okay. So we got like a couple of extra questions that gave us a little bit more information compared to last time. So here, this is Connor going into Cyber Life Tower. Let's see how differently this goes when well, there's a protest happening outside and not an assault. Plus, like I say, we could, we've got different decisions we can make in here as well. Connor model 313-248-317. Can see if we can like disable the uh, the security camera as well, maybe. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. So I'm hoping this does end up going a bit differently because, like I say, there's a lot of different stuff happening outside and we want to just, I guess, take the, the peaceful nature of the demonstration. And use it to our advantage. Though I guess they probably haven't heard of it at this point, have they, at all, because it's not started yet. So we just need to do everything as normal. And then get into that elevator. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Yeah, you do. Okay. So let's follow the guard. Let's actually scan because we were in a bit of a rush last time trying to get through this. Is there anything to do other than. 
other than talk to them. I guess if I go off the beaten track, they'll just, like, shoot at me or something. Which obviously we don't want to happen. Agent 23 identified. Connor Android identified. Agent 77 identified. Agent 47, I just realised that. We've got Agent 47 on our trail. Which one is he? Gotta be careful we don't get assassinated on our way. But damn, look at this place. There is so much. So many floors of just androids waiting to be liberated and brought into our group. Obviously we succeeded in doing that last time, but at the cost of sacrificing Hank. So let's see if we can get that without going there. So we've got the elevator again. We've got to see if we can interact with that camera. I think it was on the top left. Level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Yeah, and then we need to get down to there. Okay, so let's do this. So I noticed the camera. Camera status enabled. So let's hack the camera. Camera's disabled. What about use panel? Don't touch that. Okay, well that was uh, pointless then. So now let's pre-construct this and do this then. Can't remember which way was the right way. Um, yeah, I think this was it. And then we just gotta act this out without dying and we're safe. So let's execute. Ooh, we've gotta concentrate once again. Okay. Ooh. I think I did exactly the same thing and failed the last prompt again, but did enough of those to succeed anyway. So let's change it and we'll use the proper voice this time. I am Agent 54. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. And hopefully that means there isn't going to be an arm. We're fucking... coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching to the city at this very us. moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Ooh, we see the president this time. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. This is obviously the way they wanted us to go then, if the president's here and talking. Let's march towards that camp then. Oh shit, we're playing the news now. Androids gathering outside Detroit recall center number five. In protest, military forces ready to contain the android demonstration. Well shit. Can we scan? We can. Free the androids and march towards the camp. Is there anything else we can do, like interact with this military hardware, maybe sabotage? Apparently not. So let's just march. I'm guessing that there is our camp. You know, the one with the, all the armed guards outside of it, training their guns on us as we march towards them. Oh my god, I hope this doesn't go south. Here we are. Moment of truth. Moment of truth indeed. Is that the news copter or is that a military one? Yeah, we're not surrendering, mate. Oh, look at the journalists. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. Yes. Now, 
There's no turning back now. There is no turning back now. This is all this. Calm. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. Yeah, we will not resort there. to violence. Let's get them sympathetic. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Yeah, let's carry on walking then. Now that Oh, they support us now. Good. This is tragic, but... They see us. Oh, please don't kill North there. Raise hand. No, um, sit. We're gonna sit down. They can kill us sat down, unarmed. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yeah, you tell them. Oh, and the news is watching. The world is watching us now. The public supports us. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Josh Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Okay, well, how's this gonna go now? We hold out. As long as we can. Okay. <laughs> fucking Connor. Connor didn't get the memo about not killing everyone, though, did he? Hopefully that, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any guards waiting for us this time. Yeah, there isn't. So we're just gonna be able to get in there right away. Then we are going to have to deal, aren't we? Hack. So other people can't use it. So maybe the other Connor's not going to show up this time. Oh, this is key. This is fucking key. Okay, well. Hopefully this is it. And we just win? Either way, if they do show up, I'm saving Hank. Ah oh, no, he is Step here. Back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, okay, Connor. we're saving him. This bastard just spit an image. But yeah, we didn't have to kill any more guards though, just those two. Oh damn, we got like a proper fucking settlement now. Oh, this is cool, and the public's like increasingly on our side as well as we go about this. So far I'm enjoying this ending more, to be perfectly honest. Alright, let's get down then. Oh. <laughs> We've gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Okay, so let's see if we can um add anything like here. Here are some like brackets of wood. No? Reinforced barricades. Okay, so if that's if they don't want me to use that word, then let's have a scan and see what they want me to do. So we got like um benches and cars. I guess maybe we could push this car. Hey, help me! Ooh, whoever owns this car is not going to be happy with that, though. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, let's not risk, let's not risk pissing people off. But as long as we're not fucking burning this car, then they'll only be mad at the government if it gets shot, right? Yeah, then let's just whack this in, into position. Help seal us off a little bit more. Right, that should do it. Yeah, and we get some of the other stuff that we saw as well, just stacking it all up. I don't know, that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know. Could buy us some time. Decision to make. Maybe enough time for. Sure we're doing the right thing. Yeah. Same. Can we check in with North though? I want to see how North's feeling with this.
check soldiers position support your people and send messages to journalists okay so let's let's go support our people then but we want to get a message out to the journalists of course so if it's a choice that we have to make I'm not gonna make the message yet yeah you're right about that Okay, so we checked in with them. Where are our other options? Here, we can light up a fire. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Get some light, get some heat. Not that we need heat, but... It'll help boost the morale by having that light. Yeah, we need to go check in. Where is North, though? That's what I'm looking for. Let's grab that. Just plant it in the barricade then. Somewhere where everyone can see. Oh yeah, there's our public opinion up. This is what we need to be doing. Okay. So we've got a bench. We've got an android there that's like cowering and afraid. And yeah, let's let's just go like clockwise around here and just like sweep everything. Is that a magazine? We found a magazine, guys. We've done it. Finally, they defy us. Androids rise up in Detroit. President Warren to come to the UK? No thanks. Androids have taken to the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall, with androids seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities as a precaution. But now a group of androids, thought to be connected to the recent android terror activity in the city, have gathered in a terrifying show of force. Terrifying, oh my god. Police and military authorities are in attendance to protect civilians and deal with the threat, but the androids are barricading themselves in a fortified position and seem to be angling for an armed confrontation. No! Oh my god, the fucking media once again. President Warren is said to be aware of the situation. Detroit Police's Captain Fowler, a senior officer of the android investigation, said, The safety of Detroit's people is our first priority. We hope to bring this matter to a swift conclusion and refocus on collecting androids as soon as possible. This story is still developing. We'll bring you updates live. Feed lost. Okay. So that magazine's broken. So, most important event of this whole ending, we got the fucking magazine, so, yay. Alright then, let's have a look over here. How are you doing, son? Are you alright? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I, I don't want to shut down. I think this is the same dude that was um, panicked before, so We're here inspire. because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. We're all scared, mate. We're all scared. So we understand. You just sent yourself right here and help us with the fight, you're right? Boy, I probably shouldn't say the fight. The media will quote me on that all over the place, won't they? Let's light some more fires there. Gotta get everybody just like feeling a bit more comfortable and confident. So can we can we talk to anyone over here? What about you, mate? How you doing? You all right? Brilliant. So I got something up there. That's the magazine. And I guess over there, near the blockade, is where we're going to be sending the media message. So let's do that last, because that will probably uh, push us into the next part of the sequence. And obviously we want to like do everything we can to raise public and internal support for everything we're doing. There is North. 
the most important encounter of all. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. How's the camp? They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. Talk to North. Regrets? Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. She's right about that. And she still loves me despite going in a way that she was not into. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, with that said... We still have the dirty bomb. I guess we're going to have the choice whether or not to use the dirty bomb in this chapter then. So we checked on our people. I'm guessing that send message to journalists. What was the last thing? Check soldier's position. So let's check the soldier's position with North since she's here. Yeah, they're lining up. They're ready to go for an all-out assault. There. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? I don't think they'd be stupid enough. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be stupid enough to um, to force an assault whilst the public is clearly on our side and the world is watching. Because that would just cause masses of unrest on both sides. So yeah, Marcus, that's... we found what you asked for. Let's do this then. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Oh, he's going to project his image so that he can talk to them. Okay. Uh, equality. Oh, I gotta do it. I didn't see that in the corner. Equal rights for androids and public opinion goes up. Jericho goes up. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What's going on, mate? Oh, it's that FBI prick. Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. I have no rights. It's definitely they a trap. Exactly. They want to shoot me down. I'm unarmed, Marcus. So I were we when you shot us down. Uh, I, mean, I have to accept. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? If they kill me. Well, that's a chance I'll have to you're take. still here. And you can take my place and carry on the fight. But we have to find out. Plus, if the public see me peacefully talking to the authorities and not kicking off, then there'll be even more on my side. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. He's Good bluffing. That, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. No. Surrender, and I give you my word, 
your life will be spared. Only mine, though. Insane. Fuck that. None of you will be destroyed. What about the rest of us? For demonstrations. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Not afraid. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. Yeah, you tell them. That android. You seem to really care about her. You don't want her to die, do you? I don't want any of you us know, to we die. We could both be free. Well, we could all be free. You forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I can't do that, then. I'd rather die here. I'm refusing. Than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Maybe I did. But at least I'm standing firm to the cause and to my people. Alright, let's get back in. I know North would support what I just said. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Oh, he didn't hear. She didn't hear. Okay. He needs to tell everybody what just went down. So the media can hear. Go on, say it. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Shit. Your friend's life is in your hands. Oh shit. Okay. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Alright, we need to we need to save him this time. Um Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Um convince them. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. Oh, that's not going to work on I him. Understood. Not now. Very moving. Car. Exactly. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Oh fuck! Okay. Enough talk. So we're going to save him this time. We need it's to see what to happens. Decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Yes. Or are you going to sacrifice him? Fucking. Save him. All right. All right. You win. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Shoot. No! Oh, I missed it. Oh my god. At least Hank hasn't been shot though, so maybe he can help out. And we know we can switch the bodies if I get fucked up. Because we did that in the previous route, didn't we? So, oh my god. Oh my god. We got this, we got this. I saw you there, Hank. Hold it. Oh, fuck, Thanks, it's Hank. this old thing. It needs to work out who's who. Get rid of him, we have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. We gotta convince him. Use my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is who's who. What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Oh my you. god. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Yeah, exactly. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. That's not me. He uploaded my memory. 
Of course. What's my dog's name? It was Sumo. Sumo! His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... So we know who we are, at least. My son, what's his name? <gasps> Fuck, what is his name? Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Oh, really? Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Jesus. In this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. Oh, shut up. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the Shoot one him. Who... Yeah, good job, Hank. Fucking hell, we got him alive. Oh, I'm so glad he's living now. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Yes. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you got to do. So now we do it without betraying Hank in our original body. I'm with him living. Oh, I'm so happy. This is just the perfect outcome for Connor right now. If any Carol was still alive, so we could do that too. I did try to set that up, but I couldn't get it to work. I guess I need to make some better choices earlier on. Wake up, wake up. But hey, at wake least up, the others can up. have their their full closure. Okay, I'm much happier with this turnout. Wake this story now is just so much better. Oh, and I can't put my controller down just yet because we know a grenade just rolled into camp. So we need to be ready to take on the world. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. Go on, public. We want all the supporters to come out, all the humans no, to come out. North. Yeah, we gotta save people. Oh my god, I hope North is alive. Oh no, I can't fail now. No, no. Press the wrong button. Fuck, I'm panicking. My hands are sweating and I'm panicking. I was pressing square! Okay. Just gotta be a fucking tank for these dudes. Okay, we got this, we got this. There's Simon. Oh, okay, okay. Can we do this without killing? Okay, we're all alive. Only a couple of casualties, but... Oh, shit. Oh no, kiss North. We're not going to use that dirty bomb. I know we had the option there, but I am not going to. Love wins, not bombs. Oh, 
it's working. It's working. They're lowering their weapons. Oh Tell shit. Down. Yes. I thought we were gonna all be over them. Oh, about ready to cry there. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from Cyberlife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. I much prefer this victory. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. We did it. We did it. Peacefully. Oh, if only Kara was alive. That would have been perfect. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. But even Josh and Simon survived that as well. All the key characters that are still here survived this okay. final chapter. I'm just speechless there. I'm, Today I'm, our people finally emerged from I'm just so much happier with this ending than the other one. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We've suffered in silence. I guess we're gonna have to do the thing with Connor again, but... But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Yeah, here it comes. Maybe this is what Amanda wanted, and we succeeded our mission now, maybe, hopefully. A peaceful resolution. I don't know, it's really hard to tell what, exactly what Elijah wants. He's a very strange man, we didn't get to see enough of him Amanda? because we wouldn't shoot the android. Amanda. Let's find out. What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? Okay, so now. Amanda is still a break. When you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Okay, let's get to that me. magic stone again. We know where it is now. I think we just make a sharp left right here. By the way, I always think I want to just get sword for grounds. Oh no, because the lake's all broken up. Look, okay, so we still do have to go up and around. So let's just work our way over here and we'll be safe because we know exactly what to do and how to break out of this now. We're not going to be like flustered and unsure. We just gotta make it. Get on the bridge there. The time has come okay. for us to raise our heads up and 
and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. What the fuck? Oh. Why is the camera being shit? <laughs> it just pointed me in entirely the wrong direction, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and head back over here to the magic stone. Just around this corner. We didn't dilly dally as like, anywhere near as much as we did the first time, so we should be totally secure in reaching this end in. What the fuck? Where is it? And today. Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Oh, there, there, there. So it was to the right, not the left. Okay, well I got this now. We're safe. Please make it. Please actually be safe. I, I got a little turned around. Ooh, okay. Do it. Oh, that's such an awkward thing to press. I have to press it with like my pointer finger. Our bitterness and bandage our wounds. But we've done it. But we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive! And now, we are free! Ugh. Okay. Now is there going to be any extra addendum? Like any extra thing on the end of this since we did it the peaceful way? Many of us there are there. There are thousands of us now compared to before. And I guess there would have been more again if we went the peaceful route in the previous chapters. Oh, there is more. Is there? No, okay, we did it. <laughs> that one like ominous piano tone at the end there just throwing me off. But we did it! And yeah, like I say, I, I much preferred that ending. It felt way more fleshed out. It had a lot more heart to it. it just, it was just better in every way. And I, if we'd have made the right decisions before to get Kara and Alice to survive that, then we could have probably finished this game with every major character alive. But yeah, let's let's skip this because we've seen it already. These credits. Oh, we can't skip these credits. <laughs> it's just the next ones we can skip. But yeah. Now that I've seen both sides of that ending, I do agree that yes, the, uh, the demonstration ending is clearly the best, and I'm sure most of you would agree. That was way more interesting than the action-based ending of the other thing. Of the other side. Plus we have way more people survive, we won the world through love and not through fear. We just won. I wonder how we found out that Cole was his son and what happened. I guess we got close enough to him that we managed to get enough evidence together to look it up maybe? Or just know? I'm not sure. Either way though, I just wish Kara and Alice were here to stay. Well, I was about to say that and then they fucking come up on the screen. <sighs> that sucks. Hey, everybody else though. Everybody else got their, their good ending. Oh, that's what happens when you rob the, the shop then, when you're looking for a place to stay. Oh 
god, it's this thing again. But yeah, like, another thing as well, like, like I was saying before, Hank is my favourite character. Hank is my favourite character in this, and the fact that we managed to both save him and keep him alive at the end there is just great. Because we, we, got to, we got the closure of just finding out exactly what happened and him admitting that it's, he doesn't hate androids, he hates the state that the world's gotten into and he's on our side and he, he endorsed us surviving. <gasps> Here we go. There he is, the man himself. Oh, look at them, old friends. Ah, oh, that's great. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that both of them lived and saved the world. And yeah, let's skip those credits because we already saw a chunk of them before. We want to see those flow charts now. Just get, get a quick look at how that went down for everybody else. See how many new points we got. <laughs> I'm guessing not too many. 400 there? Oh, that's a fair amount. A moral victory, how about that? Then of course that's all we get because Kara is dead. So let's have a look at this and let's get the world stats up and walk through what we did. So Heart Plaza Freedom March, more than half of people got to this point as I expected they would. I'm in a minority of people that sat there. I guess most people probably raised their hands or whatever use abandoned car yeah most people that's the thing that makes sense oh and i did everything holding the barricade which you know a good at least a quarter of people did everything here so perkins arise so we can negotiate so most people it seems did so how many people yeah 56 percent. so most people went to accept and um go and negotiate with perkins and i guess if you accept the deal then None of that attack stuff happens and you go off into a bad ending because you don't fucking do it, you betray your people. But we refused that deal, we defended the barricade, we saved the fleeing androids. I think only one died or at least got shot. So Marcus is cornered and everybody is there. 28% kiss North, so only about half of people actually kiss North to end that scene. That's, that surprises me like quite a lot. Then, yeah, the public were enough on our side that we won our freedom. So let's have a look at Connor's last mission. Oh, well, that's not where we were at. The fuck? Okay, here we are, yeah. Um. Yeah, use Connor's voice. So, yeah, yeah. So everything here is about the same as it was last time. See, look, it grades out the options that we did last time but didn't do in this save. That's, that's handy to know. So we had the camera. There's something else we could have done there. I guess waited until the elevator reached a destination and then fucked up and reached that ending. <laughs> and then that that is just us dying there, I guess. So what else? What else have we got here? So camera hat. So a very low minority of people picked that up, like I didn't last time. So we didn't have to fight any guards. We just went in there. So Connor has Hank hostage. So we stop stop conversion to save Hank. Draw our gun. Both Connors shot, a uh, shoot, sorry. Sumo. So yeah, lots of people got that. And about as many people got Cole, because I guess if you got to this point and Hank's your friend, then you would have known that. And then Victory. And that's, that's where we ended up. 53% of people, how many was in this chapter to begin with? And 53%, 77%. So a good like two thirds of everybody reach that good outcome there which obviously we didn't before it seems like most other people that reached this chapter got to that stage instead sacrificing hank yeah but yeah thank you very much for watching this game it's it's a real shame we couldn't get to kara but 
I mean, those are the choices that I made, and I knew I was going to stick to them. I didn't mind coming back to this finale episode because it was the final choice, so I didn't mind seeing both sides of the coin after we got to the point we made with all of our decisions in the past coming up to this point. But, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. And I, I do think it is far and away the best, the best in this series of games from Quantic Dreams. It's it's just the strongest entry from them by far. It just stands up for everything that they wanted to do with their gaming, with choices, actually have an effect on this on the story and the way things play out. And, well, <laughs> I'm ready for the next announcement, Quantic Dream. Please come surprise me and match this just excellence that you put out. Now let's have a look. Obviously our android is gone, gone forever, so she's not going to be saying anything and that is a shame because I would have loved to see how she thought about our, uh, how she thought, what she thought of our choices now with the demonstration. But hey, she's free, so it's cool. We don't need to hear from her I guess. But yeah, thank you again, again, for watching and sticking through this series all the way to the end. And uh, I'll catch you next time.